Hello, my name is Rene, also known as Sevlook, and today I'm here in Photoshop because I want to share with you or talk a little about how you can enter a layer mask and how you can use that to do some edits or to do some cool techniques. Now, let's just uh, create a new document right away with this stock image. Control Alt, Control C, Control N. So here we are in a new document, and I need a, a model here. Now I'm going to copy that. I want to insert the document, and this is a transparent. A rendered image so let's just put it into the new here and for good style I'm going to to create a, a smart object you know just so we can resize uh, the image without losing the quality oh whoops didn't scale that proportionally all right now let me just position that how I like it like here and let's create a new layer mask now here we have the layer mask and of course we can do some edit, edit if you don't know what it is, uh, use it as a troll, but just to sum up, uh, the, um, if you paint on the layer mask, the black will delete, so I'm just going to paint with the, with the black brush, so where I paint with the black brush it will delete, and where there's grey brush it will remove um, some of it, so here there's half grey, so it will remove half of it, or if you have a gradient, which will go from black to white, you will see a fade. Of course, you already know that. But not everyone knows that you can enter this mask here, so if you hold on Alt and you click on the mask, you can enter the mask and then do some cool edits. First of all, you can use this for creating some cool effects like a double exposure, which we'll do soon, or you can do this to go in and check what you're doing if, to see if you're doing it correctly. So I'm just going to delete that layer mask and jump over here in this document. So here I'm about to render out the hair and I can use this technique to see how good I'm doing. Now I'm in this layer mask for this little hair here and as you can see it's not 100% black around the hair so there's a little, so there's a way to go. I could maybe do some <coughs> curves just to get more blacks but it's hard to get so, but I think it will work over on this side now we will have 100% black over here and um, go out and I'll just make this black so it's kind of a little bit of render out here but um, <clears throat> a long way to go but you can use that to see how well you're doing so maybe I could see okay that's definitely an error so just delete this little hair right away <clears throat> and we'll be one step closer to render out this hair but of course this need more work but let's go back and see how else we can use that now I have a model here and I like the way she's positioning, positioning it right here so I'm just going to duplicate that and hide that just for backup and make it into a group and match that group so now right away I did um, make it into a rasterized layer and I'm going to make a white background for her and I'm going to merge this together now I want to use this image as a mask for that image to create this double exposure effect. Now there's a lot of ways to doing, but I like this technique because let me just show you. First, I'm going to enter the layer mask and then Control V to pass it in. Now let's see what we got here. I think this will do well if we inverted the color, so the the black background now will delete, and now we have this. And this this is a good technique I think because we can uh, remove this chain here and then we can move it around to see what we like, how we want to position this image and this double exposure now could go crazy and tilt it or something but you know, possibilities so let's just go with that so now you know how you can enter this Photoshop layer mask and how you can use that to create some simple effects like double exposure or how you can check your uh, work and how you're doing on that layer mask now here I am using a texture on the model instead of the model on the texture so just a lot of fun and a lot of things you can do. So here we have a close-up on the result of this uh, really simple technique. Now the model is Julie Du Stephenson, a good friend of mine, and there's a link in the description to her website. She's really inspiring and really skilled. I think you should go check her out. I hope you found this little tip useful. Thank you for watching. Bye.